Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another meal prep video. In today's video for breakfast prep, I'm gonna be doing a new pancake bake. This is gonna be a carrot cake pancake bake. And then for lunch prep, I'm gonna be making another recipe from the skinny-ish dish. I'm gonna be making cheesy buffalo chicken wraps. I also have a couple dinner kits to put together and then not much to do for snacks this week. So if you wanna see how I pull this all together for my husband and I, then stay with me. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy and I'm planning us healthy. So did y'all see my new intro? Yes, our granddaughter was born. Lila Rose was born on Friday, August 20th. She was six days early. She was due the 26th, the day before my birthday, but she decided she was gonna come early. So a lot of you have already seen the pictures. I shared them on my social media. So if you haven't seen them and you wanna see those, Planning Us Healthy on Instagram and Facebook, I have pictures there. So thank you all so much for all your well wishes and your kind words. I really appreciate it. Everybody's doing great. And and Logan absolutely loves his little sister. So I'm hoping maybe I can put some videos together. I even want to redo the intro. It was kind of that video was kind of grainy because I did it with my phone. So thank you all so much. So it's actually Tuesday. I did my meal prep on Sunday. I mentioned that I probably wouldn't get a meal prep up if the baby was born, but since she came Friday, they were, everybody was home from the hospital. We had Logan for a couple days, so they ended up back from the hospital Saturday night. So I was able to meal prep Sunday morning, so it all worked out good. But when I was editing my video last night, I realized I never did the intro. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but I do provide the points for all three programs and I also share calories as well. I'd love to have you as part of the family. So typically I meal prep for my husband and I for three days. I do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and that allows us to, if we need to bump a day, we can bump it to Thursday, but I just don't like to meal prep that far out in advance. All the recipes that you see me sharing will be listed down in the description box below as well as any of the items that I use like my meal prep containers and things like that there will be direct links down below for that as well so with all that out of the way let's get into the video for breakfast prep this week as much as I really don't want to run my oven yet I have been craving a pancake bake the most basic pancake bake I have is a blueberry pancake bake that was my very first original I'll link that down below but this one I'm gonna do a little bit different for this week I'm gonna do a carrot cake pancake bake this one has a few different ingredients than the blueberry pancake bake. Usually when I do pancake bakes, I kind of use the blueberry one as kind of like a guide and then just replace different things. But this one, I'm gonna be adding quite a few different things. So this is gonna be a completely new one. So I'll just type out the ingredients down below because I don't have this one on my website. So let me go through what I'm gonna be using. Of course, I have a couple carrots here that I'm gonna be shredding up. I have two cups of Kodiak cakes and I have that over here. I've already weighed it out. A lot of you know when I use flour-like consistency things, I weigh it out rather than measure it in measuring cups because it just seems to come out more accurate that way. So I have two cups in there or 212 grams. And then I'm also, I think for this one, I'm gonna use a little bit of monk fruit sweetener. And when I say a little, I'm thinking maybe just like a teaspoon, right around a teaspoon of that. So usually in my pancake bakes, I use two unripe bananas, but this time I'm gonna use some unsweetened applesauce. So I'm gonna use a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce, and then I'll use some of the monk fruit sweetener. When I use bananas in it, I don't use any sweeteners just because bananas have a lot of natural sugars in it. So if you choose, you can just use the overripe bananas rather than the unsweetened applesauce and the sugar. I'm also gonna use one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. I'm gonna use just about a half a teaspoon of baking powder. So if you followed me for some time, my pancake bakes are real thin. They don't come out real big and fluffy. And so many of you have told me that you just add a little bit of baking powder and that helps to kind of fluff it up a little. So that's what I'm gonna be using, probably about a half a teaspoon. I'm also gonna use about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and cinnamon and about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna use one egg and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
So the first thing I've done is taken a 13 by nine inch pan. I've sprayed it with cooking spray and I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. So now I'm just gonna add the dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add the half a teaspoon of baking powder, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the salt. And then I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of the sweetener. And give that a stir. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. I'm gonna take another bowl, and to this bowl, I'm gonna add the one and a half cups of unsweetened almond milk. This is vanilla flavor, but you can just use the regular unsweet. Then I'm gonna add the egg. Then I'm gonna add the teaspoon of vanilla extract. The half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. And then I'm just gonna whisk that up. Okay, then I'm gonna set that aside and now I'm gonna shred up my carrots. So I'm gonna be using my new shredder. I absolutely love this thing. If anybody watches Mandy in the Making, that's where I got this idea from. She put a post up saying that this was on sale. And so I purchased me one of these and I absolutely love it. My grandson used it to shred up some cheese for his little bagel pizzas the other night. So I just love this thing. So I'm gonna just get the carrots in there and get these shredded up. Okay, now add the wet mixture to the dry mixture. Whisk that up. Okay, once that's all whisked together, now just add the carrots. Actually, that's a pretty big chunk right there. And then just carefully fold the carrots in. Now take your prepared pan and just pour the batter in there. All right, that is going in a 350 degree oven for right about 30 minutes. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take these little containers and put some syrup in there. You don't have to use syrup, use whatever you want. This is Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free syrup, so I'm just gonna use about an eighth of a cup for each one, that's zero points. And if you're counting calories, it's 10 calories for two tablespoons. The points and the calories on the pancake bake are gonna be three points for blue and purple, and for green, it's gonna be four points, unless you use like an egg substitute instead of the egg, then that will bring it down to three. And then if you're counting calories, it's only gonna be 150 calories per serving. So what I made in that pan is gonna make enough for six. I do three for me, three for my husband. And then, so the 150 calories is not counting any toppings you put on it. So the other thing that I may add to it, just the day that I have it, is the Swerve Confectioner sugar. I'll just kind of sprinkle a little bit over the top. I'm not gonna add it now because it just kind of disintegrates into the pancake bake otherwise. So I'll add that the day that we have it. All right, so I'm just gonna set these aside and wait for the pancake bake to get done. Okay, the carrot cake pancake bake just got done. So as you can see right now, it looks fluffy, but usually what happens is after it sits for a little while, it kind of goes back down. So we'll see how this ends up being. So now I'm just gonna set this aside, let it cool down. Once it's cooled, I'm gonna cut it into six portions and get it into the meal prep containers. So that's what it looks like. It's definitely a little bit thicker looking than when I normally make my pancake bake, so I think it should be good. All 
drain it and then I'll just put my syrup in there and if you want to add some fruit you could definitely do that I'm actually gonna be washing my fruit here in a little bit that I usually have for snacks so I think I may end up putting some fruit on there as well so one thing to keep in mind this is not cake <laughs> so it's not gonna be overly sweet so for those of you who are expecting like a real sweet rich carrot cake that's not what you're gonna get this is more of a pancake so just not overly sweet just more of like a lighter pancake flavor all right so i've got some apples strawberries and blueberries that i just washed so i wash these in vinegar water all my fruits and vegetables i just wash them in a mixture of probably about one part vinegar to three parts water so now i'm just going to get these drying and then i'm going to wash my carrot sticks and celery All right, I let those sit and soak for about five to 10 minutes and then I just rinse them off. And these ones I don't really have to dry out like I do the fruit. Okay, just cutting up my strawberries and I'm just gonna put some of this fruit in the meal prep containers for breakfast. And then the rest of it we'll have to snack on throughout the week for snacks. So I have a few blueberries left. I'm just going to put in this container. We'll have these to snack on throughout the week. So my fruit was originally going to be my snacks for the week, but I'm using it with the breakfast. And honestly, sometimes we don't even eat all the fruit. We end up saving up for a snack anyway. So I've got a little bit of blueberries left for the week to snack on. And then my apples here are for my snacks. So I guess I can tell you about my snacks right now because real quick. So my snacks, if you watched my grocery haul, I bought some goldfish and I planned on having goldfish for snack this week, but my grandson was here and he and I ended up sending them home with him. So I won't be having goldfish this week. So all I'm gonna be doing this week for snacks now is apples with PB2. This is so good. You just take some PB2 and put it in a little baggie and you cut up the apple and put the chunks in there and mix it all together it is so good so that's all i'm probably going to be having for my snacks this week i'll be doing that probably as a nighttime snack i've been doing so much better with my nighttime snacking so this is pretty much what i'll be having and also i do have pudding which i can use as well i also have some bananas so lots of different healthy options this week Okay, moving on to lunch. For lunch this week, I am doing cheesy buffalo chicken wraps. This is a recipe I got from The Skinniest Dish. I've been making quite a few of her recipes lately and I really enjoy them. So for these ones, it is five points on green, four points on blue, and four points on purple, and then 190 calories. And that's just exactly the way she makes them. In her recipe for the tortillas, she uses the Olay Extreme Wellness Wraps, which is usually what I use, but I actually have some of these La Banderita Carb Counter Wraps. These are one point, so it's gonna be the same. So make sure if you use anything other than these or the Olay Extreme Wellness, you make sure to factor in any additional points. So these both are one point. We're also gonna need three quarters of a cup of Frank's Buffalo Sauce. And she says, use less of it if you don't like it too hot. My husband and I like things hot, so we're going to use the full amount. We also need three quarters of a teaspoon of ranch dressing seasoning mix or garlic salt. We need 12 ounces of chicken breast. She does say in her recipe that you can use a can of chicken breast. I'm actually going to be using these frozen chicken tenderloins. I'm going to cook them in my Instant Pot. It is so easy to cook that way. And I only need 12 ounces of chicken. I'm on blue, so I'm not going to be weighing this out after. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. But if you're on green or counting calories, make sure to keep that into consideration that you only want 12 ounces for the six servings. So what I'm going to do is uh, anything that's left over, we're going to have for dinner tonight. And then the other thing we're going to need is three quarters of a cup of reduced fat cheese. I almost forgot about that. So let me get this started in the Instant Pot first. 
All right, all we're gonna do is take the Instant Pot. We are going to put one cup of broth down in the bottom. Then I'm gonna take the frozen chicken tenderloins and dump them right in there. And then what I try and do is just kind of stir them up just a little bit just to get some of that broth on them. I don't add salt or anything because there's salt in the broth. Now I'm going to put my top on there. And then if you have an Instant Pot that you need to seal, make sure to put it into sealing now. Mine automatically does it. So I'm going to do pressure cook and I am only going to do this for six minutes. So now that's going to take probably about 10 to 15 minutes to come up to pressure. Once it comes up to pressure, it's going to do the countdown. It's going to cook for six minutes. I'm going to let it naturally release for five minutes, and then I will quick release the rest of the pressure out. So now while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to get everything else into my bowl. So what we're going to be doing is actually mixing this all together, putting it in the microwave just to kind of melt down everything before we put it on the wraps. So we're going to add in the cheeses, the seasoning, and the hot sauce. And then when the chicken's done, that's going in as well. For the ranch seasoning, she says to use three quarters of a teaspoon, but I'm going to use a whole teaspoon because I really like this ranch seasoning. So now I'm going to add the three quarters of a cup of the buffalo sauce and my cheese wedges. And then just kind of mix that up a little bit. Okay, so since I'm cooking my chicken now, I think I don't want to put the chicken in here and then microwave it. So I'm just going to microwave this now. She says 45 seconds to one minute. I think I'm just going to do about 30 seconds. And also, I forgot to mention the Laughing Cow cheese that she suggests on there is the light Swiss. I'm using garlic and herb Laughing Cow cheese. All right, so that has been in the microwave. I think that should be good. Because I'm going to add the cooked chicken to it anyway. I think it's just basically to kind of get the cheeses to melt down. So that should be good. Now we're just going to wait for the chicken to get done cooking. Mix it in here and then just spread it onto a wrap. Super easy. So one thing that she says is that you can add shredded lettuce, onion, cucumber, diced tomatoes, diced carrots, whatever you want to add to it. I'm not going to add anything right now, but I may put... A little bit of lettuce and maybe some onion in my meal prep container and that way I can add it the day that I have it the other thing she mentions is you can use skinny ranch or any other ranch dressing if you want so I'm gonna be drizzling some creamy ranch on my wrap as well for this kind this is the healthy choice creamy ranch I love this is so good one point for one tablespoon or 45 calories for two tablespoons so I may end up taking an extra point for mine so for me on blue, it's four points for the wrap. So I'm going to count my lunch as five points probably because I'll use probably about a tablespoon of that. So I'm just going to set that aside and wait for the chicken to get done. After the pressure has naturally released for five minutes, now we're going to let the rest of it out. So as you can see, it is so tender. So I'm just going to scoop this out of here and put it on my cutting board. Okay, so chicken is on the cutting board. This is about 12 and a half ounces over here. So as you can see, it's just really tender. So you really don't even need to cut it with a sharp knife. So whether you want to shred it up, that's up to you. I'm just going to kind of go through and cut it like this and get it mixed in with the sauce. So once that's all mixed together, then just take your wraps and evenly spread it over the top of each one.
Okay, so that's what they look like. I was actually not going to put any ranch dressing, but let me tell you, we tried these and they are very, they have a lot of heat. So if you are not one who likes the heat from buffalo sauce, you definitely want to back off on some of it because even my husband and I say it's got some bite to it. So just to tame it down a little, I am going to go ahead and add some of the ranch dressing. I don't even think I'm adding enough to add a point. I'm just kind of drizzling a little bit over the top. Probably about a half a tablespoon. And my husband and I talked about it. We're not going to use any onion or lettuce or anything. We think we're going to want it just like this. What we are going to do is have some celery and carrot sticks on the side. So now just roll it up like a burrito. Okay, so my celery and carrots are all washed, so I'm just gonna put some celery and carrots in the meal prep containers, and I'm also gonna use this Garden French dressing. This is so good. This is one of the healthy choice dressings that I just recently bought, and this is our favorite. The ranch is pretty good, and that's what I was gonna use to dip mine, but I think I'm gonna use the Garden French for both my husband and I. He wanted this kind, so I think I'm gonna use this kind as well. So I'll just put that in a little container on the side. These containers I get from the Dollar Tree. Any of the recipes you see in today's video will be linked down below as well as any of the items that I use like my meal prep containers and things like that. But these ones I get from the Dollar Tree. All right, so in mine, I put just about a tablespoon. I put a little bit more in my husband's because he gets more points than me. He's in maintenance. I'm super excited for these this week. Okay, moving on to dinner kits. If you're new to my channel for my dinner kits, I basically just do DIY dinner kits. I'm just putting the portions of what I'm using into a bag. I don't wash them or anything like that today. I do that the night that I have them. So I just use these reusable gallon bags and put everything in there. I just use a dry erase marker and it washes right off. So this week I only have two to do. The first one is marinated grilled salmon and grilled veggies. So we've never done grilled salmon before, so we're gonna try it this week. What I'm doing is using my bourbon glazed recipe, but I'm just not putting the bourbon in it. So everything else for the marinade is what's in this bag. So I basically have, you can use one to two teaspoons of ginger, two tablespoons of Lakanto brown sugar, a garlic clove, uh, one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, which I did use just a touch more, and then a tablespoon of lime juice. So that is what is in my marinade. I'm not gonna marinate the salmon quite yet. I'm gonna wait and do it in the morning. So in the morning, today's Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, that's when we're gonna have this. So in the morning, I'm gonna take the salmon and put it in this bag and let it marinate during the day, and then it'll be ready at night. So I already have my salmon in there. And I have a pound of salmon in there, so I'll end up having leftover salmon. I'll use it for lunch one day. If you've watched me for some time, you know, I used to make a pound of salmon every time we had salmon night, and my dogs always ate salmon with us, but we lost our both our dogs this year, unfortunately. So we're gonna do some grilled veggies with this. So I'm gonna use a yellow squash and I have a couple zucchini here. And then I also have an orange pepper that I wanna use up. So my husband's just gonna cook this all right on the grill. We're just gonna use like a vegetable tray and cook it on there. Actually, let me put these down there first. And then I thought about doing a red onion. Yeah, I think I'm gonna to toss a red onion in there. All right, we'll toss a red onion in there and that is gonna be our dinner that night. Now down here for the points and the calories, I put one blue and purple, seven green and 265 calories. That's only for the salmon. 
Usually when we have salmon, we also have rice with it, but I don't know with all these vegetables if I'm gonna want rice. So I think I may pass on the rice. So the calories don't include all the vegetables because obviously it just depends on how much you have of it. So that's it for that kit. And then this one's gonna be another super easy one. This is roasted red pepper chicken with broccoli slaw and Brussels sprouts. So for this one, four blue, purple, and six green, and about 550 calories for the whole entire dinner. Where you're getting the calories mostly from is the cream. And <laughs> we're gonna make a roasted red pepper cream sauce. This is a half a cup of fat-free half and half. So all I'm gonna do is just roast up some red peppers on the stove. I'm gonna mix this in with it and it makes a nice cream sauce to pour over the top of it. So like I said, for this one, I'm gonna do broccoli slaw and Brussels sprouts. I think what I'm gonna do is my Brussels sprouts and my chicken, I'm gonna roast in the oven and then the cream sauce I'll just make on my stove and drizzle it over the top and that way the Brussels sprouts will be, ro be roasted. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. So like I said, I'm not cutting the ends off or anything like that. I'll do that the day I have it. And then I have this bag of broccoli slaw. So what we'll probably do is just mix this with a little bit of salad dressing. Stick that in there. I have my red pepper and my fat free half and half. And then the other thing that I need in here is my chicken. Okay, so I just thought of something. Instead of roasting this chicken, I'm gonna use the leftover chicken that I have from the lunch. I'm gonna use that for this dinner. So we're having this Tuesday night. So I'll just use this. And what I may do with it is just kinda throw, throw it in a pan just to give it a real quick sear. I'll throw it in a real hot pan just to get a little sear on it. And then I'll drizzle the sauce over top of it. So I think for this week, that's what I'm gonna do. And then the Brussels sprouts, I think I'll still roast those in the oven. So that's all I do for my dinner kits. Just a little bit of a time saver. Uh, sometimes when you're putting together different sauces and things like that, it does save a lot of time. This week probably didn't save a whole lot of time, but at least I have all the ingredients together, just pull it out and it's ready to go that night. So this is my meal prep for this week. Super excited this week, cannot wait to try the breakfast. So this one I have not tried before, so I'll make sure to let you know how it is and then like I said, we did try that chicken. It is very, very, it's got some, packed some heat. So you might wanna back off of that if you don't care for the heat. And then I have our dinner kits and my snacks. Like I said, I have pudding. I have PB2 and I'm gonna have apples with the PB2, but one thing you can also do is mix in that PB2 in some of the pudding. I've done that before and that's really good. And if you have some whipped topping, you can put that on there. And then I did have some blueberries left, but my husband came in and he was picking on some, I was picking on some. So that's it for meal prep this week. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy. Don't you know that you're beautiful?